Hello everybody, welcome back to Infinite Pixels and today we will be talking about Pixelorama's new update. So as you can see I'm on the website now for the um the devlog for version 10. So this is a pretty big milestone in they are their software for pixel art. Um so as we go through here um they we can we'll be going through what changes they've made to the UI and we'll be going to explore it ourselves. So after I've read this, it seems like this is uh, mostly a um, a layout update. Um, so you can change a lot of updates now. Uh, not updates, layouts now. Things and customizability is now enhanced too. So the first point is a totally new UI system. So we can so you can rearrange all the different pa uh, panels. You can resize them, and I believe you can even drag and drop them. I believe. There's also some a new extension system that will let you make your own extensions. So this will be able to add a community aspect to it and more functionality, as it said. Um, this is, but this is uh, experimental, as it says. So uh, sounds kind of like modding to me. Um, that'd definitely be interesting. New window menu. Zen mode and full screen mode. Um, there is a similarity option has been added to the same color pixels mode of the bucket. Sa the second canvas is moved by default, I believe. It's uh, hidden, and you can make it visible by going to window and panels. Mirroring pixels are now a global tool in effect both in right and left. Um, they've made various timeline improvements, as we you can read there. Uh, I'll leave a link to this um, website in this um, devlog down below. In the description so yeah so I already downloaded version 10 uh, so we have some comments down here um, so apparently it fixed a bug for this person um, Android love um, their interface apparently stopped flickering on their uh, screen and they replied to them so yeah and apparently this is his favorite pixel light tool King Dratonics but this update was 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 my bad was released 39 days ago, so pretty late for this news. Um, but I better late than never. So you can also click um, where is it? Yeah, this link right here for a more detailed channel log. Also, they're approaching their 10th anniversary, so they'll be having more exciting stuff to announce, and they'll have some new future cool product uh, projects. So. If we go here, which I'll also leave a link to this one, this uh, more detailed channel log right here. There's a lot of um. There's a lot more stuff that they added. Um, dimensions for exported, shortcuts, rotation methods, and shaders. Drop shadow image effect. A lot more gradient options apparently. They've also changed this, changed some stuff, and they fixed um a lot of things now as well. So that was wait that was for ten. Oh, actually, my bad. I was reading from ten point one. That's actually unreleased. Um, all that stuff I just read. Okay, so in version ten they fixed a lot more stuff. Looks like they've removed only the panel layout menu for white screen and tall screen. They've changed time the timeline, custom mouse cursor, resize canvas will now always display the current canvas size of the project so you can read this all here you can go to the link in the description to also check that out so they've changed they've changed a lot they've added a lot they've uh, removed a lot and they fixed a lot so i'm very happy for version 10 um but as we'll see here i already have it loaded up I already installed it and loaded it up they have this new um loading loading screen I, I, I like this. I like this a lot. This one right here, especially. Um, so, this little still looks to be the same. And like I said, this looks to mostly be a change for the format. Well, the layout. So, we should be able to resize windows. So, we can resize this. I don't know if you could do this before. I don't remember, but we can resize this. Um, we can resize in between here, which resizes all of that. 
This resizes the left between the left and right tool. Right there. This is nice. Yeah, so you customize your own. Also remember they said you they have preloaded ones you can you can do. Uh, this one won't move and this one won't move. Okay, this one will move up. This one won't move up or down. Okay. So down here too, wherever you see the little black border lines and this thing obviously pops up in the little gray line right there, you can adjust it supposedly. So you can adjust the animation line as well. So yeah, other than that, um, everything else still seems to be pretty similar as I remember it. Um, they have files, let's see, uh, preferences still right there. Windows, panels, movable panels. Oh, so you have to enable this. Second canvas, like I said, you can bring that back if you want. Everything else is still here. They also have Zen mode, which I really like. Layouts, default tall screen, manage layouts. So you can add, edit, and delete your own layouts. This is, this is pretty cool. Window opacity as well. I'm assuming for the entire window. If it'll let us adjust this. Uh, yeah, let's just use this. Uh, for whatever reason, I can't figure out how to adjust it. I don't know if it's just broken on mines or... Somebody please let me know in the comments if... Anybody else can adjust window opacity, but so movable panel panels. I'm kind of interested in this. Okay. So the white is where it will show up. So I can move it down here. I can move it back over here. Uh, here. And it looks like you have to readjust the size though, if you want it like this again. All right, that that may be too squished. Okay. Uh, so yeah, this is this is definitely really cool and customizable. I would definitely have to play around with this. This is really shaping up to be a really good. Oh, you can merge them as well. So you see how this was its own separate thing. You can also merge it as well. I just, I just did it. Uh, let me figure out how to do it again. Oh yeah, so you just. Drag up there it won't show any white, but it'll it'll merge the windows. That's pretty cool. This is this is definitely pretty cool. I like what they did on this. Okay, well that is that looks to be it for Pixel Pixelorama version ten. I've been following this since I believe since version. S I don't I don't remember. I got I gotta I gotta look back, but I remember I was following this for a while. I remember seeing this one YouTube video. When this was really underrated and this was really under the radar. Oh, also somebody did, uh, they said, um, yeah, it was powered by Godot dockable container plugin. So you can now reorganize and reorder every UI element by dragging the dropping, by dragging the dropping the tab. Okay, some grammar of each panel around the UI. Individual panels can also be resized. They can also be hidden from view. You can choose pre-made UI layouts and even create your own. This enables you to customize Pixelorama easily and permanently without having to do, re reapply any of your changes every time you launch the application. Of course, you can always return to the default layout. So, yeah, this is really cool. I remember somebody put somewhere down here in the comments. Um, sorry if you heard that car in the background, but if there was, if they could like add, um, yeah, that it could work within Godot as an add-on. So I also think this would be really cool because I used to use, I used to experiment a little with Godot when I was looking at game engines. And that, I think that would really be cool because this is made, if I, if I'm correct, I believe this is made within Godot, this software itself, uh, Pixelorama itself, so. But that looks to be it. That looks to be all for Pixelorama version 10. Very nice update. I can't wait to see what comes out in the future. Um, I will make sure to keep you guys updated on that. Hope you enjoyed this today. Enjoyed today's video. Hope this was very informal for you guys. Um, that'll be it for this video. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.